Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by one of the stars from season 21 of NBC's The Voice. She grew up singing in church, but now she's taking everyone to church. We welcome the talented Jershika Maple. Thank you so much. That was like the best intro ever. (laughs) Jershika, let's go beyond the mic. You guard during the day and gig at night. Yes. How is the pandemic quarantine tough on you? Right. Which is me being doing my passion. Um, For me, I made sure that I was really upfront with my job um, about what I do. And uh, they were, you know, fortunate enough to let me like, hey, okay, just let us know in advance. You know, we'll give you the earliest schedule. Um, We'll give you these X amount of days off to go do what you got to do. And they were like, whenever you come back, you still got a job. And I was like, okay, that works for me. So I feel like whenever you're honest and upfront with your jobs from the jump, they're like, okay, we got you. So that was my case for me. You get into a rhythm of guard, then gig, then guard, then gig. Then all of a sudden that second part's missing. So when you couldn't gig, how did those missing opportunities change you? Uh, Yeah. So with the pandemic, uh, oh man, that was so tough. Honestly, I was in the house, um, a lot, even with the job, like, you know, there were people be calling out and, you know, so there was no, really no gigging at all. It was just church. And we even still have to be careful with that. And then church, you know, work. And in some days there was not always days where we would go to work. Um, so for me, it was very tough. I was most likely in the house, but during that time I, I wrote a lot. I, I wrote a lot of stuff. I actually put out some songs after that about in May, um, about, you know, not really the pandemic, but just my experience. And I just wrote a lot. So it was for me, that was my time to really spend time with myself and, you know, you know, give music to the world. And and that's what I did. And some more stuff will be coming out soon. (laughs) You had the opportunity because of the steal to be coached by two mentors. How's this time on two different teams helped you for your future? Uh, I definitely feel like it definitely benefits me. I get, you know, taught by two amazing, amazing, awesome, you know, superstars in the world, uh, that being Kelly Clarkson and then now John, their different styles of music, their taste of music, and even, you know, their approach on music. Um, it definitely helped in rehearsals and just being with both of them. I feel like I pulled a little bit, you know, got something from both of them. Um, so it definitely was beneficial to me. Now, how has Kelly and John's tips helped you? Was there a tip for one or the other that blew your mind? Yeah. Um, So one tip from Kelly I can recall was about running. Um, You know, I do a little bit of runs, you know, which is like a really fast or quick vibrato. And then sometimes it's like, okay, well, do you have to necessarily do those? So it made me pace myself um, when she told me just it's not always about that. And she was like, you know, just make sure you show the beauty in some of those round notes, hold them, you know, instead of doing a, a fall off run. And so she made me really see the beauty of making a song and um, not rushing a song uh, with runs or so. And then John, for instance, he pretty much gave me more so to feel and to the passion for the next song that I will be doing on his team. And um, I'm really looking forward to, to that one. Cause I feel like that was really my best one. And I think he pulled something out of me that I didn't even see I had. <laughs> now, what does it mean to lose? You feel that heartache you'll lose a battle. It's a gut punch. Yeah. And then Ariana and John Legend are like, nah, ah, ah, don't you leave yet. <laughs> so for me, um, it was in that moment, I was like, oh my God, like, wow, this is really happening. I'm most likely going home. So let me figure out what to say, you know, cause they usually give you a, a, a time to give a speech to thank the coaches for the time, the journey, the experience. And, you know, here I am in my mind, like trying to think of that with also trying to be excited for my partner. Cause he just won and I was happy for him. Um, so, you know, with, with that being said, after that thought, you know, there were, Carson was like, Hey, you know, what do you want to say? Jashika's available to steal. And before I could even open my mouth and say, I just want to say both of them john hit his button first and then ariana hit her second following john and um in that moment i just was like so in shock i think i did a little celebratory spin and then then i was like okay i am not going home so it was like a really quick moment i didn't i didn't have to sit in that moment of going home and have to think of a speech and i it wasn't dreading it wasn't that bad but it was a second of just like oh god i'm going home what do i say <laughs> What's your favorite verse in the Bible? Um, Isaiah 41 and 10. Do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be discouraged or do be dismayed. That is my favorite one. Isaiah 41 and 10. It's time for the Rocky Nate with Jershika Maple from season 21 of NBC's The Voice. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. Jershika, there is no pressure. Okay. Favorite of all the military bases you've been on. Oh, hands down. Fort Lewis, Washington. <laughs> Favorite. That was where I spent seven years of my life. It was the most incredible time of my life. And that's where all of my friends are still uh, to this day. And I do plan on going back up there to see them. Least favorite MRE to try. Ooh, 
Ooh, the spaghetti con. It was not real meat. At least I felt like it was. I know you guys know about those, but y'all, them pretzels was good. Them combo pretzels. I know y'all know about them combo Ooh, pretzels. I know about those combo pretzels. <laughs> and them Skittles. You get lucky if you get some candy in them, MREs. <laughs> favorite gospel song to belt out? Ooh, um, my favorite gospel song to belt out is by Tasha Cobbs, I'm Getting Ready. <laughs> if you were going to get a new tattoo tomorrow, what would it be of? Oh, I would. I've been wanting to get some like uh, music notes behind my ear, but I heard it really hurts. So I don't know. <laughs> I only have one. It's a songbird on my, my wrist. So <laughs> which friend did you call last? Which friend did I call last? My friend Antonio. He's in Washington. And that was on Saturday. <laughs> Are you an early bird or a night owl? I'm definitely an early bird. Now you've done security. Ever had to get physical with someone or give someone the business? I'm really, really nice, but I feel like in my tone, I feel like they know when I'm not playing in my facial expressions, but I never had to do that. Only raise my tone a little bit of, of, you know, time, but I've never had to physically restrain anybody and, you know, but if I have to, I will. (laughs) Who was your best teacher growing up? Okay, Miss Sharita Gaston, my fourth grade teacher at Clear Creek Elementary in Colleen, Texas, and Mr. T at the same school. Colleen is such a tight-knit military community. How have they rallied behind you? Wow. Oh, man. Already my school district, you know, because I graduated here my senior year um, and I went to school here, you know, within, in my fourth and fifth grade year, in my sixth grade year at Smith in uh, Clear Creek. Uh, they are so supportive as far as the school district, the whole city, it seems like they're like so excited. They're sharing, they're reposting, they're following. Um, and they're just like, I'm so grateful to know this person. You know, they're all telling their stories about me as far as their encounter with me. And it's all been really positive. And I'm just grateful for the support of my city. It feels really good. It's time for one big question with Jashika Maple from NBC's The Voice. No matter what happens on The Voice, what's the one dream you will continue to strive and fight for? Wow. Um, no matter what happens on The Voice, what's the one dream I should continue to strive for? Honestly, I just want to be an inspiration to the young people and the young girls like myself. After Even after the show, like whatever they see me doing, I pray that it always encourages them and strengthens their heart. And not just young girls, you know, grown women, young boys, you know, that they can do it. And, you know, that they can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens them. You know, so that's been my whole motto growing up. And I pray that that's theirs, too. She's always repping Fort Lewis <laughs> in Washington. Hates the spaghetti MREs and would get a tattoo yes. of musical notes behind her ear. <laughs> Thank Jerushika Maple for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you, Sean. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut. <laughs> <laughs>